changing fraction to decimals. Panoorin ng video ng ito at ito turo ko sa iyo. So this is our topic: changing fraction to decimals. Any rational number can be changed from fraction form to decimal form. This is done by simply dividing the numerator by the denominator. Okay, so let's have example number one. We have to change four over five into decimal form, or divide four over five. Okay, so ang gagawin natin dito. Divide natin yan si 4 by 5. Okay? Since hindi sila pwedeng ma-divide, of course, 0 tayo dyan, point. Then dito rin sa 4, lagyan natin ng decimal, then add tayo ng 0. Okay? And then, hanap tayo ng number na kapag i-multiply natin is equal to 40 or less than 40. Kung meron tayong number, mahanap. So, what's the number? So, 8 Because 8 times 5 is 40. Okay. So therefore, 4 over 5 is equal to 0.8. This is your final answer. 0.8. Okay. This is what we call the terminating decimal. Okay. Let's proceed to number 2. 3 over 4. Okay, so i-divide din natin yan. 3 of, divide by 4. So again, point, then point 0. So hanap tayo ng number na kapag i-multiply natin is, so, i-multiply natin sa 4, that is 30 or less than 30. So therefore, yung number natin dito is 7. Kasi 7 times 4 is 28. And then, baru tayo di sini sa three, so magi ging ten na yan. So ten minus eight is two. Then add tayo ng zero. Aldin tayo ng zero di sini. So anak tayo ng number, na kapag i-multiply natin sa four, ay magi ging twenty or less than twenty. So the number is five. So five times four is twenty. Okay. So therefore. Yung solution natin, 3 port is equal to 0.75 or 0.75. So, this is your final answer in example number 2. Okay? This is, again, this decimal is called the terminating decimal. Okay, let's proceed to number 3. 1 over 8. So, divide din natin yan. So, 1 by 8 cannot be... Therefore, zero point or di to sa one magdagdag din tayo ng zero jan. Then hanap tayo ng number na kapag i-multiply natin sa eight is magiging ten or less than ten. So ang number natin di to is di siya pwede to kasi sixteen na so one. So therefore eight one times eight is eight. Then two. Then dagdag tayo ng zero. That is twenty. So, hanap tayo ng number na kapag i-multiply natin sa 8 is magiging 20 or less than 20. So, the number is hindi sa pwede 3 kasi 24 na. So, 2 lang muna. So, 2 times 8 is 16. Then, 4. Add tayo ng 0. Add din tayo ng 0. So, magiging 40. So, hanap tayo ng number na kapag i-multiply natin sa 8 is magiging 40 or less than 40. So, the number is 5. So, 5 times 8 is 40. Therefore, the solution natin is 0.25. 1 over 8 is equal to 0.125. Okay, sorry. So, this is your final answer in example number 2. Okay? okay? Let's proceed to example number 4. So, example number 4, 1 over 3 or 1 third. So, again, uh, i-divide natin yan. So, 1 by 3. So, point. Then, add tayo ng 0 dyan. So, hanap tayo ng number 
na kapag i-multiply natin is magiging 10 or less than 10. So, the number is 3. So, 3 times 3 is 9. Diba? Then, 1, add 0. Then, bring down natin yung 0. Okay? So, hanap na naman tayo ng number na kapag i-multiply natin sa 3 is magiging 10 or less than 10. So, the number is 3 again. So, 9 equals 1. Add tayo ng 0, bring down natin yung 0. So, hanap na naman tayo ng number na kapag i-multiply natin sa 3, magiging 10 or equals or less than 10. So, the number is 3. 3 times 3, 9. So, pabalik-balik na lang yan or paulit-ulit. Meaning to say, 1 third is equal to 0 0.333 dot dot dot. Ibig sabihin ng dot dot dot, to be continued yan. Hanggang sa dulo ng walang hanggang. Okay? Pwede mong i-shortcut yan. That is for 0 0.3. Tapos lagyan mo ng bar line sa taas. Ang tawag nito, bell column. Okay? Ibig sabihin yan, itong 3 ay nagpaulit-ulit. Okay po? Okay, so let's proceed to example number 5. So, divide natin yung C5 kay 6. Okay, then, hindi pa rin siya, cannot be pa rin yan. So, 0 point, or add tayo ng 0 dyan. Point 0. So, hanap tayo ng number na kung i-multiply natin sa 6 is magiging 50 or less than 50. So, hindi siya pwedeng 9 kasi 54. So, magiging 8. So, 8 times 6 is 48. Then, 10. So, magiging 2. Add tayo ng 0. Bring down 0. Then, hanap tayo ng number na kapag i-multiply natin sa 6 is magiging 20 or less than 20. So, 3. Diba? Hindi siya pwedeng 4 kasi 24. So, 3 lang. 3 times 6 is 18. Then, 2 again. Add tayo ng 0. Bring down tayo ng 0. And then, hanap naman tayo ng number. Kapag i-multiply natin sa 6, magiging 20 or less than 20. So, 3 again. So, this is 18. Okay, paulit-ulit na yan. Pag ganyan na yung paulit-ulit na, so, one, uh, 5 over 6 is equal to 5 over 6 is equal to 0 0.8333 dot dot dot. Ibig sabihin, yung 333, ituloy-tuloy yan. Tuloy-tuloy. Pwede mong i-shortcut yan. That is equal to 0 0.83. Yung 3, lagyan mo ng bar line sa taas. Ibig sabihin, yung 3 lang yung paulit-ulit. Hindi kasama sa 8. Nandiyan yan. Okay? So, the final answer is 0 0.8. 3, tapos bar line sa taas ng 3. Okay po. So, let's proceed to example number 7. Kaya na akong space. Okay. Dito na lang. Sev, uh, divide natin si 14 kay 11. So, 1. Diba? 11. This 4 minus 1 is 3. Diba? So, at the end 0, that is 30. Point. Kasi, hanap tayo ng number na kapag i-multiply natin sa 11, magiging 30. So, that is uh, 2. Twenty-two. 2 times 11 is 22. So, 10. Magiging 8. Then, add tayo ng 0. Add tayo ng 0. So, hanap tayo ng number na kapag i-multiply natin sa 11, ay magiging 80 or less than 80. So, the number is 7. 7 times 11 is 77. Diba? Then, naman eh, 10 minus 7 is 3. Add tayo ng 0, bring down 0. Then, hanap na naman tayo ng number. That is, kung i-multiply natin sa 11, magiging 30 or less than 30. So, the number is 2. 2 times 11 is 22. Then, 8 na naman. So, paulit-ulit pa rin yan. So, bring down 0 at 0. So, magiging 7 na naman ito. Di ba? Kasi, 
para magiging 77. So pag ganito, again, uh, 14 over 11 is equal to 1.277 uh, 2727. Pwede mong i-shortcut yan. That is equal to 1.27 tapos bar line sa dalawang number. Hindi lang isa yung lagyan mo ng bar line o binkulog. Dapat yung dalawa. Kasi yung, yung 27 ay paulit-ulit na 27, 27, 27, 27, 27. Meron kasi dot, dot, dot dyan. Dot, dot, dot. Okay. So, this is your final answer. Ang tawag nito is non-terminating decimals. Okay. Naintindihan? At maraming maraming salamat sa panunood. At kung hindi ka pa nakapag-subscribe sa channel ko, mag-subscribe ka na at hit mo yung notification bell para updated ka sa lahat ng mga videos na i-upload ko. See you to my next video. Bye-bye!